Have you ever felt stuck choosing between the same two political parties, Conservative and Labour, even though things don't seem to get better? It's like we're suffering from Stockholm Syndrome, a condition where hostages develop a bond with their captors. We keep going back to the same parties, even though they don't solve our problems. Sometimes, policies from these parties seem to help, but it's like putting out a barbecue fire with water when the whole house is burning down. Labour might rack up debt, causing issues later down the line, while the Conservatives often raise taxes, making us poorer in the short term. These short-term fixes don't address the bigger issues, leading us down a path toward disaster. The system and mainstream media heavily favour these two parties, creating a form of cognitive dissonance, where people hold conflicting beliefs, feeling the need to choose familiar parties despite their failures. This is reinforced by conformity, a psychological phenomenon where people align their opinions with the majority, even if those opinions are flawed. This clouds our vision and keeps us stuck in a loop. For example, when people discuss controlling migration to reduce pressure on society, they're often unfairly labeled as racist. While it's natural to want to help immigrants, sometimes it comes at the expense of the vast majority already here, including receiving the healthcare they need as the fabric of society is strained. These issues may not be entirely to blame, but they do have an impact. These labels and accusations are often spread by mainstream media, making it hard for alternative viewpoints to be heard. Additionally, international organizations, heavily influenced by global corporations, have a lot of power over national governance. The two main parties, Labour and Conservative, are influenced by these global interests. This often leads them to prioritize international agendas over national needs. On the other hand, smaller parties like Reform focus more on national interests, but don't get the same level of influence or exposure. Breaking this cycle requires changing our voting system and mindset. We need to be open to new parties and ideas that can bring real, lasting solutions. Only then can we hope to see real improvement in our lives and society. Unfortunately, the majority of people conform until disaster strikes. It was Jesus that said, if the blind follow the blind, don't they both fall into a ditch? It's only then, when the damage is already done, that we seek change, often realizing it's too late. But if we act now, we can prevent that disaster and build a better future.